Okay, so it looks like we're going to be watching Skushanka's uh, video here on the new character Knight. I have no idea what the abilities are going to be yet, so maybe something to do with chivalry, maybe kind of buffing players, uh, you know, with uh, his knight's ability, you know, his knight's kind of chivalrous character, maybe something to do with armor or with a sword. All I know is that I've seen his thumbnail and I think he's wearing a helmet, but that could mean anything. Make sure you guys check out Skuchenko's video if you haven't already. Uh, go and check out Skuchenko's channel. Let's begin watching. Okay, Richard Sterling. Richard rarely removes his mask. <laughs> he believed that a thing known as pre uh, uh, that a thing known as precious is always accompanied by guilt and struggle. He secretly arranged all the plots needed of the script to keep the old ballad of the knight and the princess alive well. Okay, so he holds a sword in front of his face and he looks really goofy. There you go. Temporarily wears a helmet to enter in prediction mode. Available in 30 meters of hunter's range. So it activates when you're near the hunter. This is like a sword symbol and a shield uh, helmet symbol. Okay. Makes two predictions in order. Makes two predictions in order whether the hunter will attack... Use ability or do nothing. So I see a sword symbol and a page symbol. Successfully predicted attack stuns the hunter. So like successfully predicted action stuns the hunter and gives the knight 40% movement speed. Predicted, ab predicted ability usage will cancel Hunter's current ability and lock the rest of them. Whoa. He's like affected by stuff. After putting the helmet on, first prediction must be set within eight seconds. So you have to be within the... So to be able to put the helmet on, you need to have been a certain radius of him, of the Hunter, right? Him or her, them. Um, and then you have to predict within eight seconds. It's probably more than enough. Second subsequent prediction gives only four seconds for decision. Wait, there's an, do, do they mean like any other predictions in the rest of the match? Or can you predict twice in a row? Predict. He did it. He stood still immediately. That doesn't give much of a chance to predict, does it? I was like, nothing? Predict nothing or predict attack? Oh, oh, well, too many little symbols on the screen that I don't completely understand. Hunter's action trigger prediction in order from first to second. Oh, so you make two predictions. Okay, so you have eight seconds for the first one, four seconds for the second one. Hunter's action trigger predictions in order from first to second. Hunter's actions trigger predictions. Oh, it's like just the order that they happen in. That probably makes more sense. So he predicted... Wait, does the hunter see the predictions? That uh, Okay, I don't really... <laughs> Because it looked like it. Hunters will try to counter knight by performing unpredicted actions. Hunters will try to counter knight. But yeah, that's... Since when do they give descriptions of what hunters might do? <laughs> like, hunters will try and counter you. <laughs> Did you know that? They'll try to, like, not get hit by your abilities. Okay, second subsequent prediction. Let you guess the third action. Do nothing. Second subsequent prediction lets you guess the third action, do nothing. Second subsequent prediction let you guess the third... You can guess three actions? That doesn't really make sense. I don't really understand that one. If predicted correctly, Knight gets a shield on four seconds which cuts damage in half. But wait, didn't they just... I thought that if you predicted correctly, the hunter gets stunned and their abilities get locked. Why would you need a shield if you get stunned? 
Okay. Halves damage. Interesting. If the hunter chasing other survivors knight's prediction making... If the hunter chasing other survivors knight prediction making time is reduced. If the hunter is chasing another survivor, the knight's prediction making time is reduced. Okay, so if the hunter is chasing somebody else, his prediction time is smaller and all of the effects are weakened. Can effects be weakened? So does page mean ability? Sword means attack. Line through something means prediction of nothing. But the hunter seems to be able to see what the predictions are. It's not a prediction. Maybe the prediction is the wrong... All active predictions get cancelled by touching a chair teammate. Okay. It's a tiny bit of a nerf there to him, I guess. To stop, like, heal spamming on floor, maybe, I guess. Uh, you just put two attacks and they can't do anything about it. Knight can rescue from a, from a distance within eight meters. Knight can rescue from a distance of... What? Well, he didn't rescue, did he? Hell, i just beat him up. <laughs> that was not a rescue there, was it? Use it. Okay, so he's standing there. Little crack happens. That's the most random ability ever. Is that is that even useful in any situation? You're like a couple of steps away from the chair. <laughs> like that's still within cat radius, no? M m barely, probably. But that's cat radius, that's bomb radius, that's... What's the point of that ability? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, Knight has a 15% decoding speed reduction. So they're... Okay, that instantly means that they're worried he's going to be too good. That's a big That's a big number as well, 15, not even 10. So they worried. He, they're worried he's going to be really good. Well, that was a very fast animation, but he didn't do it. Okay. He cancelled it. Why? Why would you do that? Oh, because it prevent. Oh, I got it. I haven't read chat. Don't worry. You guys probably told me. You guys are probably saying, Phoenix, you're stupid. It prevents terror shocks. Because you don't get terror shocked. Because you never interact with the chair. Okay, now I'm... Okay, this is good. Okay, this is better than I thought. Okay. It prevents you having to do the little chair wiggle because it just guarantees the rescue. Okay, I get it. And if they attack you, they're in attack recoveries, so... Then you can just rescue anyway. I get it. You guys are probably telling me right now, and you guys are like, Phoenix, how did you not get that, like, immediately? It's because I'm stupid, okay? Sometimes it happens. Prediction, prediction... I still don't completely understand this prediction thing. He predicted that they would do nothing, or he predicted that they would attack there. We don't see what he predicted and what the hunter pressed. Okay, okay. Time for me to read chat. Yeah, but the thing is, the so he, he makes two predictions, but the hunter can see the predictions. So they're not predictions, it's more like just decide on actions. So you can make the hunter... That doesn't make sense. When Hunter hits, because it makes 25% hit instead of 50%. Yeah, but what, when does the shield trigger and when does the stun trigger? Because I thought the stun tr triggered. When Hunter hits the rescued survivor, it only gives chip damage, not normal. When the Hunter hits the rescued survivor. Oh, that's also cool. Okay, I, I missed that. Apparently I missed that. You get terror shocked in that state? I thought, really? I don't think they said anything about that. Okay, so let's rewatch that. He gets terror shocked in that state. Okay, then it's not as good as I thought it was. But I guess it's good in the way that you get the chip hit. So they get an extra hit. But against some hunters, that doesn't matter. So you make two predictions in order. Whether the hunter will attack, use an ability, or do nothing. Do we see him make a prediction here? He didn't make a prediction. Though. He made one prediction. What happened to the second prediction? You make two predictions in order. Where's the second one? That's one. Do you not have to make the second one? You can just predict one. So they predict that he's going to attack. He pressed the attack button. Oh, oh, there we go. I missed that. There's a question mark. 
I thought they could see the prediction the entire time because I, that's such a small frame of like reference. So they have this entire circle bar to guess what it is that like that's what I was expecting it to be. But then when I saw the pictures of the predictions just being on the hunter screen the entire time, I was like, well, then there's no prediction, is it? The survivor predicted attack. So he didn't know the hunter didn't know that it was uh, an attack prediction. So he tried to attack. And because the attack happened, he got stunned. Now, he's made a second prediction. So successfully predicted the, the stuns of the hunter gives the knight 40% movement speed for 1.5 seconds. Yeah. So it's a movement speed increase. 40% is pretty big. And gives and hun stuns the hunter for an unknown amount of time. It looks like quite a long time. That looks like almost an enchantress triple stun. Predicted ability usage will cancel Hunter's current ability. Oh, so if it's an... Uh, okay, I misread it the first time. We This is what happens when you read it the first time and don't completely understand everything that's going on. So if you predict attack and the Hunter attacks, then they get stunned and you get an increase of movement speed. But if you predict ability and they use ability, then the Hunter doesn't get stunned, but their ability gets locked. Okay. So it doesn't stun them. Yeah, there you go. It's a different effect. It's red instead of blue. Okay, I understand. I understand. After putting the helmet on, the first prediction must be set. That's all fine. We don't really care about that. It's like we ha there's a limitation between doing the predictions. So you have four seconds after the first prediction to do another one. There you go. Question mark, question mark. He predicted attack, attack. And because he predicted wrong... The first time, uh, yeah, he used both waxes there. Did he use one wax, one wax? Wait, where, what happened to the other one? Oh, he pressed ability the first time, and that was predicted wrong. And then he uses the wax blob. It was also predicted wrong, meaning that he failed his predictions, meaning that you could just attack him. But yeah, okay. Hunters will try to counter knight by performing unpredicted actions. That's, I don't know why... They are showing this, it's like beginners. Make sure to mess around to, to mind game. Make sure to play this game. Second subsequent prediction lets you guess the third action. Second subsequent prediction. I don't, what, this bit is the only bit I don't understand. Can someone tell me this? Second prediction will let you choose do nothing while the first prediction will let you choose attack or skill. Oh, so the, What's this whole thing with the third action then? That doesn't matter then. Oh, oh, it's like that's an extra option is what they mean. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Like, I thought that that meant that you had like a third option, like a third prediction. But now I understand what you mean. So the first one doesn't let you switch between three different options. The first one only lets you choose two options. Okay. And the third one lets you choose no action. And no action gives him the shield. So with the first prediction, we said that they get a, if they get it correct, if the survivor guesses correctly, the stun happens or the ability lock happens. But in the second phase, let's say they, fa they failed the first prediction. The second prediction, it doesn't have the same conditions. It doesn't give you the freeze or the... An ability lock. It just gives you a shield, right? People will tell me it's fine. This is crazy. So yeah, we get that. He gets a chip here. I understand that, but I don't understand when that exactly triggers. Instead of the freeze or the ability lock. And this is all fine. He just gets a reduced amount of time. It's a hunter chasing other survivor night prediction. Make time is reduced. Da 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 da. Shield is, is related to do nothing. Okay, so if you predict do nothing and the hunter does nothing, then you get a shield on the second phase. And in the second phase, if you predict attack and they attack, then you get the freeze, the, the yeah, the freeze. And if it's the, if you predict ability lock and uh, if, they, if you predict ability and they use ability, you get ability lock. Because I wasn't sure if it was just like a, that's the default second phase thing. All active predictions get cancelled by touching it. Yeah, okay, that's all fine. So where was it that he got terror shocked with his ability here? Was it here? 
Yeah, he gets terror shocked. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So whilst he's doing this, he gets terror shocked, but gives a shield. Successfully gives cuts damage in half. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it doesn't give you a chip here. It just cuts damage in half. That's very, very different. Because that means that um, if you have a hunter like Joseph or Hermit, that Hermit does 0 0.6 or 1.2, if you want to call it like that. Um, meaning that he does 0 0.6 damage or 0 0.3, if you want to consider it like that. Yeah, so he does uh, less. He does a little bit more than 25% of your health. So does Joseph. But it's still less than a full damage hit. Does that mean and it, does that mean if there's a bomb on the floor, it reduces the bomb damage? Or does the bomb can not count as a hit and it only counts base hits? So I don't know how long the predictions last, but it, each one has to tick each time, right? And they look like they lasted a decent amount of time. You can just like press it and then just run towards a pallet. <laughs> and then the hunter can't do anything. <laughs> It's like, it's like journalist. You just put a random prediction in, hoping it's something. And if you're right, it's journalist or better, right? And if you don't do anything, yeah, okay, it's a weird one. He uses this ability, he, you can cancel it, that's really, really cool. And they, they both get a shield as well. Not just one of them, they both get a shield. So he predicted ability cancel. Um, and yeah, this is where we get to see an example of this all. So here we see he does his little animation to activate his... Um, so he predicted... Does that just mean he's predicted? Because I thought that meant that that was attack predict. But I guess it just means predicted. This means that he's predicted ability and Nightwatch used ability. So... He has his ability cancelled. Uh, fails attack. Fails attack, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he used attack here. So he got cancelled, yeah. But I don't know if he feels... He doesn't feel better than journalist, though. <laughs> He feels like a worse journalist because journalist has three free kite buttons, doesn't she? Essentially, at least from what I've seen, most people just press the button, run to a pallet kind of ability. And she has a slightly stronger rescue, at least a more guaranteed rescue, but maybe not a guaranteed rebound kite. So they're like, journalists, are, journalists and him are almost like opposites. You know, complimentary. Imagine if you had both of them. <laughs> he might be really, really strong and I'm just missing something here. I probably am missing something. This is first reactions to her, to him, sorry. My initial thoughts are that he seems like an alternative to journalist and the ability to like stun and negate abilities is very useful as a harasser. He doesn't say that he needs to be the one chased. You could just go next to somebody else who's kiting at a certain distance of the hunter and just predict where the, he's going to attack this person and then they just get stunned even though they're not even looking at you. Disable their abilities against Anne, for example. Yeah, you can go and annoy. You can do things like BQ mirror stop. You can do Anne cat stop, but like for other people essentially. So he might be just better as a harasser. The effect is reduced, yes, but still, you can still negate abilities from happening and negate attacks from happening. Thank you everyone for watching. This will be the end of the stream. Really interesting character. I wasn't expecting predictions. Not gonna lie, it would have been better if this was Sia's ability and Sia, and if Sia had Knight's ability. Like, sorry, like Knight and Sia swapped abilities because, you know, they could have given him like a shield is where the owl effect happens. So he like uses a shield and it blocks an attack. And then Sia could have had the ability to predict things, predict actions, see into the future.